welcome back YouTube. We have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews. And here is another video about the second beta for Android 11. And this time I'm gonna share with you some hidden features and the changes that I didn't mention in my previous video. And there are quite few of them. And that's why I decided to create another video. So let's check what are these new hidden features and the changes in the second beta of Android 11. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. First, there is a new gesture that takes you back to the first page in your home screen if you scrolled a little bit too far. With a small and quick swipe up, you will be able to go back to the first page. Let me show you this again. And it works perfectly well. We have this feature already with the three buttons and the two buttons navigation by double tapping the home button. But now Google implemented it in the gesture navigation as well and it works perfectly well. Also, if you did the same gesture a few times, you will get this little nice animation explaining to you how to get your app drawer from your home screen. Next, the share sheet grouping, and I'm gonna take a screenshot to show you how it looks. So if I'm gonna take a screenshot and then tap on share, scroll down a little bit, you will see some of the icons have a small arrow beside their names. And for example, Instagram. And when you tap on it, you will see the three sharing options all consolidated in one list. And previously, you, you will get three separate icons for Instagram and each one will be a different sharing option. And also, if you want to pin any of these sharing options, you can simply tap and hold on the icon and you will have pin direct, pin feed or pin stories. You can pin only one or pin all of them, whatever you want, and they will show up here in the top area. And also, if you want to unpin any of them, for example, let's pin the direct and tap and hold again on the same icon, you will be able to unpin it from here, or you can simply unpin from the icon at the top as well. Talking about screenshots, when I take a screenshot now with the second bit of Android 11, I will see the screenshot showing up in my notifications shade once I dismiss it from here. So as you see, it's now back again to the notifications shade as before. And when you tap on edit, you will get some small tweaks here as well. So if you take a look here at the top bar, previously we have the word save or share, but now they got replaced with icons and you now have a quick delete button or a quick share button. And also another button here called done. And when you tap on done, it will ask you, would you like to save it or you want to delete it from your phone gallery. Next, the new media controls under the quick settings area, and that's the default design for Android 11 second beta. You no longer have the option to turn it on or off under developer settings, but some of the users, including myself, didn't get the new design activated for some reason. And if you are impacted with the same issue, I will leave an ADB command in the description below so you can activate it yourself. Also, if you are not happy with this design, I will leave another ADB command to turn it off and return back to the old design of Android 10. Talking about the new design, in the second beta of Android 11, there are some tweaks. First of all, when you tap on any of the buttons, you will get this nice animation. Also, you have this new button right here that will give you quick access to your output devices. And also, when it's minimized, it looks different. It, it's now consuming the full width of your notification shade. Previously, it will show up here on the top left corner as a square, but now it's taking the full width and when you swipe down again, it will be a full card. Also, there is a new indicator here at the bottom. If you are running multiple media applications, it will show you this indicator so you can swipe between their media controls for quick access. And also, if you are using YouTube Music, I found that I don't need to close the application if I want to get rid of the media controls of the YouTube Music app. All I need to do is to swipe down on the now playing screen and it will disappear from the top. So now I only have the Google Play Music app, but YouTube Music is now gone. Next, the now playing notification now has a new icon to view your history and it's showing here at the bottom right corner. Previously, when you expand it, you will get an, a button called the view history, but now it's an icon. And when you tap on it, it will do pretty much the same exact thing. Next, the dark theme looks darker than before. If you activated the dark theme and go to your app drawer, you will see it's completely black. It's no longer gray. 
and it used to be also a little bit transparent but now this is no longer the case it's a completely black background and that will save more battery i'm not sure if that's part of the second beta or previous versions but i'm sure that this is different from android 10 at least next the phone app notification is now green instead of blue also the notifications history looks a little bit better in the second beta when you compare it with the previous versions of android 11. next now under settings you will see the pixel tips as a suggestion and when you tap on it it will take you to the pixel tips app and finally the google photos app is back again to the new design after google pushing an update in the play store without me doing anything and if you may know, some users, after installing the second beta, reverted back to the old design of Google Photos, but this issue is now fixed. So that's pretty much it. Those are the hidden features and the changes I managed to get my hands on after using the second beta of Android 11 for some time. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any more features or changes. And I hope you like my video. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.